Welcome back. Sarah Jessica Parker and Matthew Broderick are one of Hollywood's most iconic couples. But their love story is not a fairy tale. In an interview with Howard Stern, Parker revealed how they met. They fell in love and how they finally got together. She also shared the reason why she avoided him for a while after they met. Sarah Jessica Parker and Matthew Broderick are both famous actors who have starred in many movies and shows. They are also married to each other and have three children together. They are known for their long-lasting and successful relationship in Hollywood, which is rare and admirable. How did Sarah Jessica Parker and Matthew Broderick find their way to each other? Despite the challenges and tragedy that marked their lives, the actress recounted to Howard Stern how she and Broderick got together and what made her stay away from him for a while after their first encounter. Parker and Broderick first crossed paths at the film forum in New York, where they were both introduced by a mutual friend. They were attracted to each other, but there was a catch. They were seeing other people at the time, entangled in separate relationships that demanded their loyalty, aware that they had to disrespect their commitments to their partners. They decided to avoid each other, explaining why she stayed away, Parker narrated. We understood that we had to do right by the other people and break up officially, like we couldn't be cutting around. But before Parker and Broderick found a happily ever after, they had to face a dark chapter in Broderick's past. In 1987, five years before they met, Broderick was involved in a fatal car crash that killed two women in Northern Ireland. The accident haunted him for years and affected his relationship with Parker. She saw beauty and charm in his every gesture and their life seemed intertwined, having grown up with similar values and touchstones. The crash happened on August 5, 1987, when Broderick and his then-girlfriend Jennifer Grey, who co-starred with him in Ferris Bola's Day Off, were on vacation in Enniskillen, Northern Ireland. Broderick was driving a rented BMW on a country road when he accidentally crossed into a wrong lane and hit a Volvo head-on. The Volvo's driver, Anna Gallega, 28, and her mother, Margaret Doherty, 63, died at the scene. Broderick and Gray were injured and taken to the hospital. Broderick had a broken leg, a collapsed lung, and a concussion that made him forget the crash. Gray had severe whiplash and torn ligaments in her neck. Broderick was charged with causing death by dangerous driving, which could have led to a prison sentence of up to five years. However, he was later convicted of the lesser charge of careless driving and fined 100 euro. A few months after their first meeting, Parker and Broderick met again at a party, and this time they were both single. They went on their first official date on March 8, 1992, and since then they have never spent a night apart except for those rare occasions when work or family demanded it. Parker said that she was attracted to Broderick's intelligence, humor, and charm. She told Stern, You know, I just thought I liked his work, but I liked his person very much. He's so smart, he's so funny. I like his choice of friends, the way he was living in New York. She also said that they had similar backgrounds and values, which made them compatible. She saw beauty and charm in every gesture and their life seemed intertwined, having been brought up in similar ways and having identical touchstones in their homes. In, 2018 interview, in a 2018 interview with People, Parker shared her personal stories and insights on various topics such as her love life, her parenting journey and her experiences of being a celebrity. She revealed how she deals with the challenges and joys of living in the public eye and how she balances her career and family, she shared. I think marriage has a lot of vitality. If you're fortunate, it's like a dazzling organism, reflecting on the moment she knew Broderick was the one. Paka revealed she had never thought about the specifics of marriage, yet a half out desire to be asked to spend a lifetime together with Broderick took root early, early on in their relationship. In contrast to this, in contrast to some women, who fantasize about their wedding day and their ideal partner, Parker said that she never even thought about a wedding dress. 
They have since expanded their family with three children, James Wilkie and twins, Loretta and Tabitha. Their children have brought them joy and laughter, as well as challenges and learning experiences. Laka finds joy in being with her husband and their children, cherishing the little moments that reveal new facets of his character each day. They have a lot of fun together and share a sense of humor and adventure. He told people that they respect each other's individuality and independence and support each other's dreams and passions. They acknowledge their imperfections, but amid it all, they find contentment and happiness embracing the beauty of their imperfect yet blissful life together despite the tragedy that forever marked Broderick's life the couple has not shied away from returning to Ireland making multiple visits to his family home in Kilka County Donegal thanks for listening